Hey you guys, so just to like put it completely bluntly, I've just been honestly feeling kind of stale lately and I don't know if it's just because I'm four months postpartum now, so if that's kind of playing a factor, hormones and stuff, just feeling kind of like blah, both like with, you know, my hair, professionally, like just, those, those are just a lot of things going on. Not only that, but it's also just been really challenging getting a lot of content up for you guys. So I wanna kinda talk about what the future of my channel will be. Nothing dramatic or anything, just kinda like the direction that I'll be going into. And then also, I kinda wanna just play, show you what my new makeup routine is now that I've been doing this lighter kind of freckly type of makeup. So I filmed that for you. And then I wanna play with some extensions too to kinda like, you know, switch up my look, have some fun. It was actually perfect timing. Irresistible Me had reached out to me just about a month or so ago when I was really feeling like in the slump. So I connected with them and I picked out a set of hair extensions to try out for you guys. Now I've already worn the extensions one time and I have to say I really really enjoy them so I'm gonna be wearing them again for you today first time I wore them straight today I'll be curling them and we'll be chatting we'll be talking and then I'll show you like the final result and everything by the way if you are new to my channel and my face my name is Ashley Ellix and I would love it so much if you would consider subscribing by hitting that little red button down below and then turn on your notification bell if you do want to see when I post new videos like then you'll get notified you can also follow me over on TikTok, Twitter snapchat Instagram I'm at Ashley Ellix all, all at all of those places that way you can get some extended content but enough of the pre chit chat i'm ready to dive in and talk to you guys just like catch up play around with some fun hair extensions and do all of that and if that sounds good and dandy to you then you know what to do sit back hang tight and keep on watching Boop. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about my nails. I've been doing my nails lately. If you missed my first like little DIY nail at home video, I've been using the Kiss nails that you can pick up like at Target, Walmart. I picked up th this set right here at Amazon. It's the Kiss nails. I didn't like the Ardell brand nails. I did not, and I'll talk about that probably in like a future video, but they were just terrible. They like bent and were peeling and was, crazy just not good within a couple days but the kiss nails i absolutely love so i picked up this set on amazon like i said shipped it right to my house i didn't have to bother with the store and i will say one thing about these nails i filed them because they were the long length and with my newborn obviously i can't do that i mean some people can do that so maybe not obviously i can't do that i wanted to file them down and i also like the more rounded shape so i did that rounded shape and i love these they've already been on my hands for i think three or four days and they haven't popped off because I used this glue that I got originally at the professional cosmetology store, but I, now I can get them on Amazon so I can link it for you guys too. I love this nail glue. It's the best one that I have found yet. It is awesome. So that is like a quick and easy way that I have been able to kind of feel like myself again, but without the commitment. I used to do like a full system on my nails that would take like one to up to three hours, depending how intricate I would do it. But I don't got that time anymore. Now that I have a four month old, my other daughter is six years old so I was able to kind of like you know do it around her schooling and stuff but now I don't I don't have that time so I love that I can do these nails in like five to ten minutes max and it is great because she's not really the best napper at all so I'll only get like 15 minutes and then she's like up and then I gotta you know help so we're, we're trying to do that nap routine trying to get on it so in the meantime before she's on a structured schedule doing quick easy things like this has been so helpful because like I still feel like myself but I don't have to commit to like hours that I don't have. So I love these kiss nails so much. And in my opinion, they look really professional. I mean, come on. Now talking about time commitment or lack thereof, doing my makeup lately has been much more different than at normal times. You might've noticed on my channel or on my feed or on my Insta stories that I'm just not really doing any in-depth kind of looks, bright, colorful looks. It's just, it's just a lack of time, you know, right now. But with that, I I still like to feel put together. I still like to have like a vibe and a look going on. So I've honestly really for like for the first time ever have been embracing this kind of natural style, natural I say kind of look. It's like that no makeup makeup look, but like it's definitely makeup and I'm, I'm wearing lashes today, but just kind of embracing that because I can do a look like this so, so quickly, but I still feel like you know, I still feel like me. Not that I'm not me without the makeup. Like I go, I go makeupless all the time, but you know what I mean? Just makeup just makes me feel some kind of way and I just have fun playing. So I feel like I can almost still feel creative with a look like this. It's just different. It's just not colorful and bright. It's just 
more neutral. And I did film this look for you guys today as I was getting ready so you can see some of the products that I was using and what I'm doing differently. Now I'm usually a full coverage queen, but I have really been embracing that light coverage type of vibe lately, again, just because of the lack of time. So today I went in with a little bit of primer, just a pore filling primer right around my nose. That was it. And then I just had my regular skincare underneath. And then with my fingertips, I use the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better foundation. I love this foundation because it's so versatile. So I was able to just do a really light coverage today, but if I want to beef it up, I can use a brush and primers and like all kinds of stuff. And then I went with some concealers that are on the lighter side of coverage, maybe light to medium. And it was the Tarte Hydro Sealer, C Concealer, and the Kosas Concealer. And I put those pretty much in my typical areas, just not so heavy handed because I don't got time to blend and blend and blend. So I just blended really quickly with a brush. And then I've been doing that whole like fluffy brow look. So I'm playing around with the Patrick Ta one, still like debating if I love it. I think I could find a more affordable option option, honestly, but it's working for now until I find one in the meantime. And then I went in with cream products. Now I have not been like strictly for cream products. There are some that I like and I love, but I've been, I in the past would forget to use them, but lately they're all I've been using and all I've been grabbing because these ones, they look so healthy on my skin, but I don't have to always set it down, which is awesome. So I'll link them down in the description box, of course. And with my eyeshadow, I do, sometimes I just do like a colorful liner if I'm feeling like I want that color back in my life or like today, I just brushed on some neutral eyeshadow from the Shadow Kiss palette from Alter Ego that I just got. That was sent to me also in PR, and I've just been kind of testing it out for you guys as well. And then I just pat on some shimmer from that same palette, super simple, super easy. And, which is really weird for me, and I know it's not weird for everybody, but I am never usually a brown liner type of gal, but I have been grabbing it lately just because I feel like it's just a little bit softer. So I've been using some brown liquid liners. It changes all the time. I have a few different ones that I've been using this one today was the tardist one or tardiest i think it's tardis like artist like tart artist together <laughs> now lashes i don't usually i usually just do mascara but today i threw on falsies because i wanted to kind of like again feel this kind of vibe that i had and i wanted to balance the hair extensions with lashes not that you have to do both but it just felt right to me for this look today. I've just been going off of how much time that I have, honestly, to do some of these things. And then for my lips, I took the Too Faced Lip Injection. It's their liquid lipstick. I don't love it like as an actual liquid lipstick. I talked about this in one of my lives lately, but I like to take my finger and just gently pat it out and kind of give that like blurred lip type of look and, and really going with that because I, again, don't have time to like check my lips, make sure that it's looking all, you know, perfectly lined up. Don't really have time Time to sit there and line it up. So I've just been patting that on, putting a little gloss on top and calling that a day. And then I've been, I've been going in with the freckle pen a lot. <laughs> I just think it looks so cute. Now I do have freckles underneath, you know, the makeup and sometimes even a light coverage will cover them. So what I do with the freckle pen for me is I'll first place them over the actual freckles that I know are there. And then I'll go in and then put a few more like just to kind of balance it out. And then I take my fingers of course and like press it all out. And like I said, I've really been liking and I've really been embracing this more natural style look, kind of like me, but more enhanced and glowy, glowy. That's what it's making me feel really nice and refreshed looking, even if I don't feel <laughs> refreshed on the inside. Am I right? So that's the makeup lately and that's the nails. Let's do some hair. And then while I'm like doing everything, we'll kind of chat about channel stuff and everything. So from Irresistible Me, I actually picked out the Royal set. They have a few different ones to choose from. I liked the, ro the idea of the Royal one because it was a little bit thicker. They just look so silky soft. And I was also able to pick them in 24 inches. Now the 24 inches are super long, like kind of comically long for my five foot four body, like just barely five foot four. So keep that in mind. You might not need this full length unless you want it to go down to your hips, which is what they do when I had them straight. But yeah, the extensions have been awesome. It comes with a lot. This isn't actually all of them. I have four more pieces that I won't be using today because I have a tiny head and I can't fit anymore. And also I didn't need the extra volume because I have kind of fine hair anyways that this amount was perfect for me. So minus four. So depending on what you need, if you ever wanna do clip-ins, you might need a full set. You might be able to go without a couple. It just depends. Now, color-wise, I did pick out the white blonde extensions and they let me know ahead of time, hey, you might need to tone these with some purple shampoo or something, which was no problem. I've done that for literally all the extensions I have had in the past that I've purchased when I was platinum blonde and it took to the purple shampoo, no problem. I'll show you what it 
look like before. They were kind of golden, so keep that in mind. And then when I toned them, they really, I mean, it's the same purple shampoo that I use on my hair, and I think that it matches perfectly. So something that I thought was really cool because this is an online retailer with extensions, with colors that you need to pick out for yourself, you know, and sometimes it can be really hard to figure out on a computer display. They do have a YouTube video, which I thought was really cool, like showing all the different colors and stuff too. But when you actually get your box from Irresistible Me, the extensions come in this cool little zippy thing, which is super cute, right? But the really cool part of it is they'll have one of the small extension pieces in here, one of the singles. I have them all laid out to like what I actually, how I stepped it. Uh, do I have any of the singles? So like this size single right here. So they take that and they put it just the singular one into this side right here. So what you can do is take that out, just put it against your hair to see if that color matches enough for you if you like that. And if you don't like that, you can actually exchange them, which you know, extensions are pff, almost completely never able to exchange because of sanitary reasons and stuff. So I thought that was like a super, super cool concept. And then once you're ready and you're committed and you're excited and you're ready to bust it open, they have this side with a little seal on it. So I broke that seal one because I was like, oh yeah, I'm ready to bust these open and put them on my head. And like I mentioned, I picked the Royal set out. They had like the standard set, which I think it's just like less density and maybe different type of lengths. And then also, they have an invisible weft set. I like these typical kind of standard sewn wefts, so I opted for that. And then this is what the clips look like, if, in case you're curious, if you've never seen them before. And of course, I will drop the link down in my description box of their website with a 20% off discount code that will be attached to it. But they did want me to mention, if I was gonna use the link, that hey, the 20% off is not to be combined with any of the sales that they have going on on their website. Whatever the better sale is will be applied. So keep that in mind, you can't combine them but sometimes the 20% off is better. So you can click through that link, check out, see what they have going on. So this is what my hair length is currently at at the moment, just a couple inches past my collarbone, and I am ready to throw these extensions in and have some fun and just switch things up. So what I start with, for me, I start like the closest to the nape of my neck, which is the very bottom part as I can, but I do leave a little bit hair underneath, so. I'll show you what I mean. And also I like to measure the different areas that I'm going. So for me, that part of my nape is only about two clip length, length, length wise. So right at the base, if I put it, that is about how much, cause I don't wanna go past the hairline. So that is perfect from side to side. So what I do first is I section that off. Like I said, I just leave a little tiny bit of hair out in that section like a little tiny, like just some wispies, honestly. Then of course I clip that hair out of the way that I'm not gonna be using. And I take a little comb, this is a rat tail comb, but any kind of comb should work just fine. And you're gonna back comb that section a little bit to give the extension something to grip onto. Also, it helps the extensions to hang on more throughout the day. If I really, like if I'm gonna be, I mean, there's no events or anything right now, but if I was going to a wedding or something, I would actually hairspray that section also to really make it sink in. Like if you're gonna be dancing and like having a good time, I ain't doing any of that. So I'm not gonna be hairspraying my hair today. That is what you can do, a little pro tip. So then I open up the extensions, the little clips right there, and I just slide them right in, closest to the root as possible. Are you ready for this? They are so, they're, they are so long, but I kind of love it. Like I kind of live for it. Again, 24 inches. Like I, they are, they are literally down to my hips. I'll show you guys when I'm all done how long they are. But really that's all there is to it. So I'm just gonna be doing that, going through, putting them in my hair section by section. And then also while I go like section by section, I'll be styling it at the same time. So today, of course, I'll be curling it with a little clipless wand. And when I was wearing them straight, I was straightening it through each section. But that's what I found is like the easiest thing to do because you don't wanna like put them all in and then have to like then go back, put a pile of heavy hair back on your head and go through and curl them and stuff. So that is what we're gonna be doing. And let's start chatting, let's start talking. So yeah, I was talking about how I've just kind of been feeling stale lately, both like just with my whole look and everything that's been, you know, going on with my content and stuff and my channel. So let's talk about that. I have just I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just my lack of time and being able to commit, but it's like, 
it's just been feeling really weird because I absolutely love creating content for you guys. I absolutely love makeup. That's not changing. Like neither of those things change, but the amount of time that I have right now, like that has changed. Like I said, I have a four month old. Things are difficult to balance, you know, and I've found myself trying to figure out where do I go from here? Like, what do I do when I still have this complete love of, look at that curl, oh girl. I'm gonna keep them tight and curled and at the end I'll like brush them out because that helps the curls to set down much better. So anyways, where do I go from here? What do I do? Because, you know, baby is not on a consistent nap schedule or anything. That's usually, I mean, when my daughter was six, I think, no, my daughter's six now. When I, my daughter was, I think she was about two or one and a half or two when I first started my YouTube channel, I think two. Anyway, she was on a consistent nap schedule. So I was able to work around that. And right now that's not the case with my four month old. And I don't know how long this will go on but I can't not create like it's in my blood now. Like I, I just love it so much, but it's just not realistic for me to be doing the things that I, I love so much, like three looks, one palette, like those type of videos, they take a lot of time to film. I don't have a normal filming space anymore and it's just, I gotta get creative with my time. So yeah, I gotta think about that um, and I have been, and you guys might've noticed that there's been a lot of like changes within the beauty community, you know, on YouTube lately. I, I've noticed a lot of my favorite creators have recently started talking about kind of similar things. Like they're just feeling kind of stale and burnt out. I'm not feeling burnt out. I just feel like the beauty has been changing, you know, and maybe as consumers, you've noticed, I've noticed as consumers that, you know, it's just, it's just a time of changes and that's just like how the world is right now i mean just yeah so much going on all the time and that's all right like i know that people don't love to just i know not everybody wants to watch eyeshadow tutorials anymore and everything and that's totally fine i mean the it's youtube has been around for so long so that's something else completely to talk about but my love for makeup and my love for creating videos has not changed like i said so I've been spending the last couple months, honestly, trying to figure out where I go from here. By the way, this next section, I'm actually putting four clips in. So two sets of two, cause like my head is wider around at that section. So let's do that and keep talking. So yeah, I'm not gonna be changing. I'm not leaving. I know a lot of creators that have been in that have been in the beauty space for a long time. They're talking about like completely changing their channels up and like leaving the beauty community. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I I will still be doing beauty videos, makeup videos, things like that, but it's going to be different. It's going to be hopefully something you guys haven't really seen much of before. I'm really, really excited about it. And also it's stuff that I can do. It's videos that I'm able, I will be able to produce, you know, I'll be able to film it at night when the baby's sleeping and I, it'll just be, <laughs> for me, I know it'll be easier for me to produce definitely. And again, I'm really excited for it. It's something that I can map out ahead of time. And you know, I, it just, I'm so excited for it. I hope that you guys will join me and follow along with me in that slight pivot. Like I said, it's still gonna be the beauty community and it's still gonna be beauty related. It's just, it's hopefully just kind of fresher, kind of different. I, I, I've been, like I said, I've been seeing so many people like feeling kind of a similar thing. And I just think that the beauty community is it's gonna be kind of changing around. And it's kind of one of those, like, do I just keep doing the same stuff, keep going, doing what I'm doing, but struggling to accomplish it and then just feeling blah? Or do I, do I give myself like a little update, a little refresh? Do I change things up? And the idea of kind of switching things up, doing different styles, it really excites me and it makes me feel like, oh, okay, like optimistic. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. All I can say is I hope that you guys love it and are gonna enjoy it as much as I'm having fun prepping all the videos and stuff. So what I'm gonna be focusing on for the next few weeks is 
getting all that stuff that I have ideas for filmed and then 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 starting it like so pre film as much as I can at least like two weeks worth and then get that out for you guys and you know and see how you guys are enjoying it and if you guys like that different style content that I'll be doing I'll keep doing it and I'll keep having some fun you know or I'll or I'll just reevaluate the situation and see what's going on but I can't not do beauty related content not at this point in my life I still love it so much and I can't just quit altogether absolutely not like that is not an option for me I love this for so many reasons but this like as a mom too this kind of helps me have something for me that I love that is like my passion and also it helps to pay some bills so it's you know two for one special which is great so yeah I'm not don't don't be nervous I'm not changing from beauty it's just a little pivot it's like a little slight like pivot little pivot <laughs> pivot yeah friends anytime you hear that word you think of friends because I sure do okay hang on a second look at this weft that is thick and gorgeous and really like dense they sell these individually and if you have long hair already you can get different lengths and stuff you don't have to do the massive 24 inches but if you have long hair already and you just need to add some thickness they have these available so i thought that was really cool but anyways so i let me know let me know if you're kind of feeling this as a viewer or as a consumer as a consumer i definitely am are you feeling a little bit of like consumer fatigue you know, because I feel like for me, no makeup lately has been exciting me. Like I can't even do an anti-haul wish list anymore because they're all gonna be anti-hauls and that's okay. Like we can talk about that. You know, I love my roaster toast videos and I just like roast new makeup launches because they're so yawn, but maybe that's part of it. Maybe that's part of what I'm seeing in the beauty community is just like nothing is exciting right now and everything is just, <sighs> feeling like it's just feeling stale. So that's not me feeling stale. That's just some of the, the makeup that's coming out I think is looking a little bit stale. So it's time to switch things up. You know, like I said, let me know down in the comments as a consumer, are you feeling that same vibe? Like what's going on? I mean, also it is the end of summer before the holiday season. So maybe everybody's waiting to bust out their stuff, but you know, it's just something to think about. So food for thought, I guess. So to sum up, <laughs> I've been feeling stale. I got to change things up a little bit. Like I said, not a lot of it, but a little bit. Hopefully you guys will join me in that little pivot and you guys enjoy what I produce. You'll come check it out. You won't unsubscribe because I'm changing things up a little bit. You know, come check it out. I don't have like an exact like date of when things will start, but when you know, you'll know. And I'm sorry I'm being like so vague about where I'm pivoting my channel, but you know, sometimes things are better up to left on left on set or like as a surprise or something you know what i mean so i gotta keep, keep you guys on your toes a little bit gotta give you something you know just hopefully uh it's worth the wait or the <laughs> it's, i don't know something ah uh, yeah all right so clips are all in hair is all curled and also what i already did is right by the last clip right above that clip i backcombed a little bit with the teasing brush just to kind of add a little bit of a blend i feel like that works kind of nicely to hide that last row of extensions and i also didn't go past right here so down here and then right there just to kind of help it blend even though it's not natural that I have 24 inches of hair for me all of a sudden you know you just don't want to give it away too easily so I'm just going to take my fingers and kind of break it up and if I need to go back in and like recurl some of my natural hair to make sure it blends and like it's going in the right direction I will do that all right so these are the extensions all kind of like combed out they're curled, they're in, they're on, and I am absolutely loving the way these are looking. And I actually used one less weft than the previous time. I think because the hair is curled, it just looks so much fuller than straight. So you don't even have to use a whole pack necessarily if you have like more fine hair or a small head like I do. And they are seriously so long. I'll insert a video right here of how long these are on me. I feel like they do a really good job at blending and looking really nice on my hair. 
here, I have to say I really am enjoying the quality of these. I think if you have medium to fine hair, these should match your hair texture really nicely. Now I have like a slight wave to my hair. It's not curly, it's not completely straight, just a very slight wave. Like I said, kind of more fine in texture. I think if you have that really coarse, thick hair, you might be able to feel like texturally a difference in these, but if you have more medium to fine, then they'll blend really nicely. So thank you so much Irresistible Me for sending these my way. It really helps me to be able to switch up my look, switch up my style without the commitment, like I said, because I can take these out at the end of the day and just, you know, have my hair back up in a bun or whatever, like I like to do it as a mom running around the house. But when I want to switch things up and stuff, it's really easy and really fun. So thank you so much for joining me today, you guys, and hanging out and chatting and seeing kind of like my new style what I do to kind of switch things up for me and where my content will be going in the future. Make sure you subscribe before you go if you want to see more videos from me like my kind of new upcoming videos. I do have some things that are pre-filmed that might be going up before the changeover so it won't be instantaneous because I still want to produce some stuff before I have my like kind of series or just pivot. I gotta go though. I'll see you guys next time and hope that every single one of you have a great freaking awesome wonderful beautiful happy day.